It's like a lot of parents are jumping at the chance to offset the money they're paying for their children's education. The Arizona Department of Education reports three out of four applications for universal vouchers come from families with kids currently not enrolled in public school. The law to expand in, in, uh, enrollment scholarship accounts was signed earlier this year by Governor Doug Ducey and applications opened up a couple of weeks ago. However, public school advocates are trying to block the law that's set to effect, take effect in a couple of weeks. Tonight, Team 12's Colleen Sikora is talking to those both in favor of the vouchers and those against. In two weeks' time, the Arizona Department of Education saying nearly 6,500 applications are in for the new universal expansion of Empowerment Scholarship Accounts, ESAs. The new law would give an average of $7,000 to parents to fund their child's education in private schools or home schools or other tools like tutoring and therapies instead of sending that money to public schools in Arizona. Our kids will no longer be stuck in underperforming schools. One thing both those for the vouchers and those against agree on that thousands have already applied. I wasn't surprised at all. We weren't too surprised. Of those nearly 6,500 who applied for the universal eligibility, ADE says 75% have never been in an Arizona public school classroom before. The voucher system is not set up to benefit kids that are struggling. Um, investing in public schools would do that. Instead, it's set up to benefit families who are already in private schools, who have already exited public schools for homeschooling and are just recouping those funds. That's Beth Lewis, director of Save Our Schools Arizona, the organization working to get a measure on the ballot for voters to decide on the law. The applications already filled out could move about $45 million of funding out of public schools. Lewis believes that funding would hurt classrooms. If you don't have a quality local public school in every neighborhood, then you no longer have a public education system and a lot of kids are going to lose. However, Christina Curso believes the ESA she's had for her son made all the difference. We really have been able to curtail and customize his education, not just with that private school, but with other things to support him. Accurso was working with those opposing the ballot initiative, saying those who've applied deserve to have the funds to offset their child's education costs. These are taxpayers that have been paying into the system for years and years. And, in, and we have a vested interest as the state and as the community to see that their education is done right. This might be just the beginning. The 6,500 applications represent just a fraction of the existing private school students that the state estimates are eligible. The deadline for the ballot effort to stop the new law from taking effect is September 23rd. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. All right, Colleen, turning to the latest.